Have you ever wondered what people mean when they talk about the Trinity? This video should help you begin to understand this incredible conception of God and the basis it has in the Bible. There is one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, a unity of three co-eternal persons. God is immortal, all-powerful, all-knowing, above all, and ever-present. He is infinite and beyond human comprehension, yet known through his self-revelation. God, who is love, is forever worthy of worship, adoration, and service by the whole creation. Throughout the Bible, we see evidence of the Trinity. At the creation of the world, God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. As Christians, we are to complete the Great Commission in the name of each member of the Trinity. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God the Eternal Father is the creator, source, sustainer, and sovereign of all creation. He is just and holy, merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. God says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. He is a good God, the Father of mercies, and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction. God the Eternal Son became incarnate in Jesus Christ. Through Him all things were created, the character of God is revealed the salvation of humanity is accomplished, and the world is judged. Forever truly God, He became also truly human, Jesus the Christ. He was conceived of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He lived and experienced temptation as a human being, but perfectly exemplified the righteousness and love of God. He suffered and died voluntarily at the cross for our sins, and in our place, was raised from the dead and ascended to heaven to minister in the heavenly sanctuary in our behalf. He will come again in glory for the final deliverance of his people and the restoration of all things. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. God the Eternal Spirit was active with the Father and the Son in creation, incarnation, and redemption. He is as much a person as are the Father and the Son. He inspired the writers of Scripture. He filled Christ's life with power. He draws and convicts human beings, and those who respond, He renews and transforms into the image of God. Sent by the Father and the Son to be always with His children, He extends spiritual gifts to the Church, empowers it to bear witness to Christ, and in harmony with the Scriptures, leads it into all truth. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, against such things there is no law.